Hello, welcome to Play and Learn. My name is Julie and today's theme is Shapes and Snow. So let's get started with the hello song. Next up, we'll do a song about opposites, and it's called Roly Poly. It goes like this. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Roly, Roly Poly, Roly, Roly Poly, down, 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 down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 out. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, in, 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 in. Roly poly, roly poly, slow, 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 slow. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. Fast, 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 fast. All right. So today's felt story is called Snowman, Snowman. What do you see? And our snowman friend sees some shapes along the way, and we're going to talk about what colors and what shapes they are. So first of all, how many circles does a snowman need? Usually we have one two, three. And what shape is a snowball? It's round and round. It's a circle. Three white circles make up our snowman today. There's a lot of repetition in this story if you'd like to join in. It goes like this. Snowman, snowman, what do you see? I see a, anybody know what color this is? black and the shape rectangle a black rectangle that is what I see let's put it right here beside our snowman friend plop 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 what fell on top anybody know what color this is orange and what shape has one two three sides a triangle an orange triangle. That is what I see. Plop, plop, plop. What fell on top? Anybody know what color this is? This is gray. And what shape has four sides that are all the same? One, two, three, four. A gray square. That is what I see. Plop, plop, plop. What fell on top? It's another gray square. That is what I see. Plop, plop, plop. What fell on top? What color is this one? Brown. Anybody know what shape this one is? It's a rectangle. A brown rectangle. That is what I see. But wait, look up, 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 up. Way up high in the sky. And what do you see? What is this? What shape is it? A circle. And what color is it? Yellow. I see the yellow sun shining down on me. Snowman, snowman, what do you see? I see a cozy home. That is what I see. I'm going in for a hot cocoa. Would you like to join me? Anybody here like hot cocoa? That is our story about the snowman and the shapes today. Next up, I'd like to invite you to do what I call the blizzard breath. So what we're gonna do is collect up light fluffy snow in our hands. Imagine it's light, light, light and fluffy and get a whole handful of slow, snow. And you're gonna take a deep breath in through your mouth like you're breathing through a straw. And then you're gonna breathe out and make the sound of a blizzard and blow your snow all around. So we're gonna do that three times. Ready, breathing in. 
biggest blizzard. Again. The biggest blizzard. And the last time. Very good. Today's play and learn activity is called shapes in the snow. So the first thing you want to do is go and collect some sticks from the forest floor. Maybe practice counting the sticks while you're gathering them. Get some sticks that are different shapes and different sizes. So then we can do a few different activities of making shapes in the snow. One is if you want to practice holding it like a pencil, that is great for fine motor skill development and you can trace a shape in the snow. So first I'll try a circle. Round and round we go. So you can have some fun drawing some shapes in the snow. Next up, if you find four sticks that are the same size in length, one, two, three, four, you can see there that we have a square shape. If we take one of those sides away. Now we have one, two, three sides and that shape makes a triangle. So I encourage you to have some fun with making shapes in the snow and if you'd like to even try making a really big circle with footprints in the snow. Hope you have fun out there. Today's finger play is called Dance Like Snowflakes. So we're going to use our fingers here and it's call and response. So it's to the tune of Frere Jacques if you'd like to join in every second line. And it goes like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes here and there here and there. So you might have some fun outside dancing like snowflakes. Another snowy song is called the Snowy Pokey. So I'm gonna put on one black hat, one black glove with spots on the end, and one black glove with stripes. So we're gonna put our hat in, our gloves in, and our boots in for the Snowy Pokey it goes like this. You put your hat in, you put your hat out, you put your hat in and you shake it all about. You do the snowy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your gloves in, you put your gloves out, you put your gloves in and you shake them all about. You do the snowy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your boot in, you put your boots out, you put your boots in, and you shake them all about. You do the snowy pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And for today's book recommendations, the first one I have is about a shape. It's our friend Triangle. And he is up to some sneaky things with his friend Square. It's a really fun illustration with shapes kind of in things that we see every day. And it's written by Mac Barnett and John Klassen, if you might like to check that one out. Another one I love is Sing a Season Song. So it's beautifully illustrated and written rhyme. And I love, love, love this book. It is written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Lizelle Jane Ashlock. Before we go today, we'll finish up with the goodbye song. And it's goodbye shapes and goodbye friends.